1.85 billion years ago, there was no continent of North America. Sudbury was on the southern shores of an ancient continent we call Nina, 1,000 kilometers south of where it is today. Huge braided rivers crisscrossed the continent of Nina, carrying the sediments to the shore that would eventually create the ancient sandstone found around Sudbury. To picture Sudbury 1.85 billion years ago, imagine a warm subtropical beach without any visible life. The only life forms were all single cell organisms living in the oceans. Back then, Sudbury was beachfront property, but all that was about to change with a visit from outer space. As far as meteorites go, the one that hit Sudbury was one of the biggest, 10 kilometers across. Unlike most geological events, a meteor impact creates huge changes in a very short time period. For Sudbury, it would be a defining moment. A 10 kilometer wide meteorite enters the Earth's upper atmosphere, moving at eight times the speed of sound. At this very critical moment, a number of things happen simultaneously. The meteorite strikes the Earth, very close to the shore, smashing into the Earth's crust 10 kilometers deep. Instantly, about two kilometers of the Earth's crust is blown into the air in a huge mushroom cloud. The ocean water in the vicinity of the impact is blasted out of the way, sending huge tsunami waves radiating outward around the globe. As only happens in very large impacts, the Earth's crust rebounds violently, like the splash from a drop of water in a pond, creating a central uplift in the middle of the crater. Just as it seems the worst is over, the rock that was blown into the air comes crashing back down, eventually covering the melt rock with a layer of fallback debris two kilometers thick. Next, the huge tsunami waves, having traveled at supersonic speeds around the globe, return with a vengeance, washing over the impact site, covering the crater and depositing sediment on top. The water remains there for centuries afterward as the pulverized rock cools below. The result is a lens of rock over 10 kilometers deep composed of melted rock covered by a thick layer of broken or brecciated rock above and capped by ocean sediment at the very top. Many kilometers below, the melt rock from the impact cooled and solidified. As it cooled, the heavier metal-rich portion sank to the bottom as the lighter minerals rose to the top. The richest ore today is found at the base of this ancient melt rock. During the next 1.85 billion years, the impact site underwent many changes. South of the basin, a continental collision created a mountain range as large as the Himalayas, only to erode back down into low-lying hills. Over hundreds of millions of years, erosion from rain, wind, and ice would remove nearly five kilometers of rock from the top of the impact site, revealing the ore below and the formation we call the Sudbury Basin. <laughs>